Hello, Ellie Diecast, and um, got a quick video to update the customs that I've been working on. I've got two here, probably have about five by the end of the week, and uh, these are going to be going up on eBay soon. So hopefully, I will post the lot that they are um, with down here at the bottom at the screen. So hopefully, right down there, there should be the lot that they are. But this is the first one. This is Zed Zombies. Zed's Zombie Exterminator, I should say. And um, this is a combat medic, that uh, 2013 combat medic, that I um, took the paint off and, and added some details to. And uh, pretty happy with this one overall. Like the Tampos, I did some aging uh, techniques on it and kind of scratched off some of the paint. Um, the top here is from a Jeep Wrangler and I trimmed off a few pieces to get the details up there. He's got his trapping equipment here. He's got a little extra generator, some boards, some equipment for building his zombie traps. And roll him around the other side where he's got his company logo. Always good. I don't know if that's a real phone number. Hopefully nobody has zombies as their real phone number. The front here is off a uh, A-team van, that uh, guard. And interesting on this one, which if I can get a good shot here, I didn't think of having to get in that close, is the combat medics, if you take them apart and take that door off the back, they have a lot of um, room in the back. There's a floor floorboard there. I'm going to have a hard time getting some light in there. But uh, hopefully you can see in there. So he's got a little cardboard box. He's got a little hose. Little generator type thing kind of tucked in back there. So lots of room for for adding some some stuff to it. Next up, we'll let uh, Zed go away. Oh, by the way, that one does have real, real rubber tires on it. Next up is this Bel Air Gasser, which if I can get, whoops, get focused in here. The gasser's heavy. It keeps falling down. There we go. So we've got this little gasser, painted it orange. And I uh, can take this out carefully. Probably the last time I take it out. Come on. I'm sure most of you know how to lift up, get those um, blisters to come off so you can put your cars back in them. If you don't, let me know. We can do a video on that too. It's easy. Um, so this one. Real rubber tires on it, rolls straight. Finally got the axle issues I was having early on worked out. Axles are kind of hard until you get the right tools. I used uh, Puchef Morobi uh, basically packs the axles with JB Weld and that's how I started doing it as of last week, which works a lot better. It keeps the axles from getting bent if I was to crimp them, which is what I was doing before. So this guy rolls just fine. Sorry for the ugly hands there you can tell I've been I've been working I'll try to keep my ugly fingernails out of the scene did some work on the engine on this painted it made it stand out did a wash on the engine which is not showing up much at all here in the video painted the interior which is also not showing up let's see it's hard for me to tell here with the camera I hope that shows up you could probably hear the fan in the background. I'm in Southern California and it is blazing hot. And uh, real happy with the finish on this car. It's got kind of a spectra flamey type finish to it. Playing around with the layering on it. Real Riders. Uh, I got the Real Riders off of a... What were these from? These were off a of Pack and Pacer. Totino's Pack and Pacer. And uh, rip those wheels right off. So there you go. So those are the two newest ones. 
If I get any others done, I'll post those as well. But check out the lot on eBay. And uh, if you're interested, you can buy these and we will ship them out to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.